hi. Hi, hi, hi to everyone. So Dobby is back with the question she gets for homework, the deadly questions. Yes, so um, how have all of you been doing? I hope you have been doing fine. And you must have done your homework and come here to sit with me and to answer my questions to help me with my homework, right? So, <laughs> okay, so I have promised mommy that I'll be back soon, so I need to get these questions done soon. Okay, so let's roll in. We'll start with question number one, right? So, a group of woodpeckers is known as... A group of woodpeckers is known as shadow, descent, and trip. I mean, oh, shadow, descent, or trip. I guess it has to be descent, right? You don't say a shadow of woodpeckers, a trip of woodpeckers. It has to be a descent, yeah, a descent of woodpeckers. We don't know. Woodpeckers are very colorful and beautiful birds. I guess it has to be descent. Yeah. We'll just go check on the answer whether it's descent or not. The answer is descent. Okay. So, uh, woodpeckers, a group of woodpeckers is known as descent. Woodpeckers are colorful and beautiful birds well known for pecking of wood of trees with their pointed beaks. With their pointed beak, they peck on the wood of trees. And they, there are about 200 different types of woodpeckers worldwide. They live in every place in the world except Australia, New Guinea, uh, New Zealand, Madagascar and the extreme polar regions. Most woodpeckers live year around in the same area. Woodpeckers make a wide variety of noises, but they do not sing. They can make chirps, chatters, and other alarm calls. Drumming is the wood drumming is the woodpecker equivalent of singing. So woodpeckers are monogamous. Both male and female prepare the nest in the tree. Females lay eggs between two to five. Uh, incubation period lasts from 11 to 14 days. It takes about 18 days before the young are already ready to leave the nest. Yeah, so, and also drumming usually occurs in the spring on the metal or wood resonance surfaces. They drum or peck in a rapid rhythmic session to establish their territory and to attract mates. So yeah, that is it about woodpeckers which make a nice sound which I'm not able to do today. So moving to question number two. Match the name with the picture given. You have a picture given here so you have to match the name with the picture. Right? So uh, Arashim uh, Arashiyama Bamboo Grove, Japan, Plitwist Le uh, Lakes National Park, Croatia, Provence, France, uh, Zhangjiajin National Forest, China. Arashiyama Bamboo Grove, Japan, Plitwist Lakes National Park, Croatia, Provence, France, Zhangjiajin National Forest, China. So, I really don't know what this is. Actually, I haven't seen this, so let's directly check what the answer is. The answer is Zhangjiajin National Forest, China. Okay, so it was Zhangjiajin National Forest in China. Zhangjiajin is located in central China, northwest Hunan province, over 1,000 kilometers from both Shanghai and Beijing. It is a famous place for its precarious peaks, limpid streams, dense forests, and large karst caves. So, uh, 
somewhere 204, uh, some 243 peaks and more than 1000 quad site sandstone pillars and spires dominate the scenery in this area called uh, Wulingwan. So, the scenic area consists of four national parks, which are uh, Zhangjiaji National Forest Park, uh, Sosi Valley National Nature Reserve, Tianzi Mountain Reserve, uh, and recently added Yangjiaji Scenic Area. So, that comes to an end of the Zhangjiaji National Forest in China, which is, you know, a place of scenic beauty, which you have to visit one day if you can make a tour too. So, next is question number three, which is, how do scientists identify individual tigers? How do scientists identify individual tigers? So, uh, answer number one is the pattern of their stripes. Answer number two is the length of their tails. Answer number three is the color of their eyes. Answer number four is the shape of their paws. Pattern of their stripes, length of their tails, color of their eyes, shape of their paws. What is it? I guess it has to be, I really don't know, but I guess it's uh, the pattern of the stripes because I've seen different tigers with different types of different patterns of stripes. Yeah, the way the stripes are, they differ from tiger to tiger. So I guess it's the stripes of the tiger. Let's go have a quick check on it. The answer is is the pattern of their stripes. Huh. So I was right, tigers sport unique strip patterns, much like humans have unique fingerprints, right? So like our fingerprints differ, right, from person to person. Just like that, the stripe patterns of tiger to tiger always change to identify them uniquely, right? The tiger is the biggest species of the cat family. They can reach to a length of up to 3.3 meters and weigh as much as 300 kilograms, which is 660 pounds. So, subspecies of the tiger include the Sumatran tiger, Siberian tiger, the Bengal tiger, South China tiger, Malayan tiger, or the Indonesian tiger, right? So, Humans are the primary cause uh, for the destruction of the habitats of the tigers, right? Tigers usually hunt alone at night time. Tigers have been known to uh, reach speeds of up to around uh, 65 kilometers per hour. Less than 10% of hunts end successfully for tigers. Tigers can easily jump over 500, sorry, 5 meters in length, 500 centimeters. Uh, there are more tigers held privately as pets than there are in the wild. Means tigers are also, you know, kept as pets. Do we do, like, do we do that? No, right? But it's done somewhere, right? Interesting. So, moving on uh, to question number four, but I guess after blabbering for such a long time, one should always have water. You know, water is very essential for health. So, let me have a sip of water and be back first. Stay here. I'm here very, very, very fresh than before and first also. So, question number four. Vitamin A is important for good eyesight, helps your body fight infection and keeps your skin and your hair healthy. Which of the following foods have the most vitamin A? Which means out of these, which contains the most, uh, uh, most of vitamin, vitamin A? Meats, breads, deep yellow or orange fruits and white, uh, vegetables, or candy. 
meat, bread, meats, bread, uh, deep yellow or deep yellow or orange fruits and vegetables or candy. I guess it is uh, not meats, meats obviously do not contain vitamins, not breads, breads have carbohydrates in them as I know, not candies also. So, I have heard that uh, vitamins are available in fruits and vegetables, so I guess it is deep yellow or orange fruits and vegetables. For reassurance, let us check. The answer is deep yellow or orange fruits and uh, vegetables. Okay, so I told you right, it is deep yellow orange uh, fruits and vegetables. Uh, here I come here to tell you a nutrition fact and it is not fact actually it is facts. Vitamin A is a generic term for a large number of related compounds that promote healthy vision, bone growth and the surface linings of the skin. Yeah, so vitamin A from animal sources is uh, performed and is absorbed as retinal. One of the first signs of vitamin A deficiency is night blindness. Night blindness is one deficiency of vitamin A. Vitamin A is such, uh, such a, you know, nutrient which you must have and it is really easy. You just have to have some yellow or orange, orange uh, fruits and vegetables, right? So, eating fruits is always better than having medicines later, right? Prevention is better than cure, right? So, you have to have vitamin A, vitamin A right. So, what is next question? Here I move on. Uh, what is the longest continuous time a human has spent in space? Uh, what is the longest continuous time a human has spent in space? 365 days, 150 days, 437 days. How could a human spend 400 or 300 of days? I guess it is 150 days. Yeah, let us just have a check on it. Let us go check. The answer is 437 days. Uh oh, I guess I was wrong. It is ok, mistakes do happen. Okay, so it is 437 days. Actually, it is not easy for me to think that a person could spend 437 days in space. Mm, I don't know. But however, it has been possible, right? So, this amounts to more than 14 months in space. This feat was accomplished by uh, Valery Poly Polyakov, a Russian astronaut who stayed aboard the uh, Mir space station from January 1994 to March 1995. Uh, when Polyakov returned, he had over 678 cumulative days in space and his combined space time was over 22 months. God, that is like amazing, right? You have to go and search about this person. You have to do sort of research. You know, you will get to know more interesting facts, right? So, shall we move on to question number six? Yes, we have to because I promised mommy that I will be back soon. Right, which is the part of the human digestive system uh, is the most acidic. Which part of the human digestive system is the most acidic? Heart, stomach or liver? Heart, stomach or liver? I actually think it is stomach because whatever you eat and uh, whenever you do not eat it always firstly it affects our stomach right because whatever we eat goes to the stomach and when we do not have anything in the stomach your tummy starts putting up acidity right. So, I guess it is stomach yeah it has to be stomach. So, we will go check whether it is correct for your reassurance. 
The answer is stomach. Yes, I told you it's stomach. Your stomach is actually located in the left upper part of your tummy. When most of us say that we have an upset stomach or tummy, we actually point to our abdomen, which is the part of your body from the ribs to your hips. It contains the stomach, uh, liver, pancreas, intestines and kidneys as well as blood vessels and all sort nerves. Blood vessels plus nerves also. The stomach serves as a first line of defense for your immune system. It contains HCL acid which is hydrochloric acid which helps to kill off bacteria and viruses that may enter with the food you eat you know when you eat sometimes you don't know when you eat from shops or the snacks and all that stuff it might contain bacteria right and uh, you might get infected so this HCL uh, in the tummy in the stomach Actually, in the stomach, this HCL kills off all the viruses and bacteria that enter with the food you eat, right? So, uh, hydrochloric acid also provides an environment for a very special enzyme called protease to act. Protease chops up proteins so your body can digest them easier. So the function of this protease inside, this enzyme protease is to, you know, chop uh, the protein, the fish, meat, chicken and some plant items which you eat, they help to, you know, chop them so that your body can digest them easier. When you blush, when you blush, your face uh, turns red, right? The lining of your stomach also turns red when you blush, right? So, when you swallow food, you also swallow the amount of air. When you drink soda or other carbonated beverages, you also get lots of air in your stomach. The best and the easiest way to get rid of all this air is to burp out, right? So, an adult stomach can hold around 1.5 liters, uh, nearly half a gallon of food or drink. Your stomach produces a new layer of mucus every two weeks. This is because hydrochloric acid could digest your stomach and other organs and mucus protects your stomach from that happening. Right, so you know when the stomach get, doesn't get food, even the hydrochloric acid could even digest your stomach and other other organs. Right, so when you have mucus, it's slippery and it won't happen. Right, since the stomach predigests food, it makes easy for the rest of your body to get energy from the food. As a result, animals with stomachs can move around more than animals without and animals with stomachs can also run larger brains with extra energy, making them smarter. Lastly, since the stomach can store so much food, it allows you to go longer in between meals. Yes, so, Right, so if you don't eat, if you skip meals, you'll get acidity. It will, you know, affect your stomach and it will give birth to a lot of diseases. I am not saying this, my mommy is saying this. So if I stay hungry for more time, more than this also, who knows that I also might get acidity. So I have to rush home, right? to have something. I just had water before. I need to have something more. So I'll be back the next day also with six more questions to get answered. Right? So until then, what should you do? You have to be like good kids, right? So you can send your uh, questions to my address which you see here, number 244.9, the next place, Karala Road, Malabi. And yes, you can 
uh, WhatsApp or Viber to the number note seven six eight two one double two seven six. And to see me on other days, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is A Plus TV. Or else, what can you do? That is, you can follow me up on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Okay, so until I'll be back with the next expression. Bye bye.